And uh, so we will uh, talk in this segment about um, the basic elements of uh, stress analysis uh, related to beam uh, theory. And that is uh, most components in power transmission will have either bending moment or a torsion or axial force. And we need to understand how to calculate deflection and stress. So in this uh, segment, I'll uh, refresh your memory of uh, how to uh, uh, draw and find the values of uh, shear forces and bending moments on a, a loaded beam. So we'll go through the uh, sign convention for uh, positive and negative uh, moments, sign convention for positive and negative shear, and then develop uh, the uh, shear diagram from given loading uh, on a beam and also the bending moment diagram from given uh, distribution of uh, shear forces. So let's look here at uh, the uh, basic idea. The basic idea here is that uh, we have um, a distribution of uh, uh, forces, as you can see here, uh, uh, on a beam loaded uh, vertically, and um, the uh, forces are can be concentrated or distributed. For the time being, we look at concentrated loading and uh, the coordinate system that we have is an X uh, direction is along the beam and the Y direction is uh, in, in the vertical. Uh, we have reactions uh, R1 and R2 and uh, we need to determine the reactions in uh, simply a supported uh, system. That's a, really the uh, most fundamental uh, type of loading that you've studied in uh, your statics. So the convention is that we uh, cut the beam at any point and uh, then we equilibrate the uh, forces on the left that are remaining. Uh, let me uh, clarify that here uh, as uh, uh, I'll clear the page. So the forces on the left would be that are remaining in F1 and R1. Uh, these will be equilibrated by uh, a moment on the right of the, of the cut section and the vertical shear on the cut section. And we need to figure out what is positive and what's negative in these cases. So we will uh, see that uh, uh, positive moment is what makes the beam curve in that fashion. So. If, if you imagine the rain is falling here and the beam curves in this direction, that it keeps the rain uh, simply uh, stated, uh, you have a positive moment. A negative moment will have a curvature of the beam in that fashion. So this is negative and this is positive. And uh, f uh, in terms of the, of the shear, uh, the shear that we have is that if you cut the beam and the beam uh, when it goes down in this fashion, that you have one part of it is going down in relationship to the other part, then we're going to take this as positive. So if the right uh, section uh, goes down, then we can take it as positive. Uh, otherwise, we will take it as negative. So the beam just splits like this when you cut it uh, virtually, then uh, this way is negative. So. Uh, these are the conventions, and here is uh, shown as a positive moment, uh, as you can see here, negative moment, um, positive shear, uh, and negative shear. And then we are going to build now the uh, free body diagram based on this convention. So what we'll do is we recall now from our uh, background in statics, that the uh, shear force is the derivative of the loading force distribution. So we're going to call the loading force Q and the shear force we're going to call it uh, V. And um, uh, the shear force is going to be uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, let me state that back, the uh, loading is going to be the derivative of the shear force and the shear force is going to be the derivative of the moment. So I'm just uh, telling you that uh, now verbally. So let's see how this works so we can actually build shear from loading 
and build moment from uh, the shear. So given Q, then we're going to integrate it once, we get the shear. Integrate it twice, we get the moment. Later on in the next segment, we're going to go from the moment to the deflection. So we will have to do other integrations to uh, get to the deflection of the beam. So let's uh, start with uh, just building um, a shear force diagram and bending moment diagram by examples. So if you look here, uh, we see that the Q uh, uh, is uh, by convention positive, is upward. So this is positive Q is upward and it could be distributed in this fashion or it could be concentrated. So that's uh, Q of X is called, if it is distributed load, then it has the load intensity per unit length. Uh, but if it is concentrated, it would be the total load at a given point. Uh, so let's uh, now write down kind of the summary of uh, the basic equations that we will use. And uh, in here, we will write that uh, we have uh, a load Q, so Q is the first derivative of the shear force, and uh, the uh, shear force is the first derivative of the moment. So I'm putting a prime here to indicate that I have a first derivative. And therefore, I uh, have now, if I want to have V, V will be the integral of Q dx and um, also M will be the integral of V uh, dx. Uh, so we're going to apply these principles uh, in um, uh, doing the analysis for uh, different beams. So simply stated, we have V equals dM by dx, dV by dx is d2M by dx squared equals Q so you do one integration, you go from Q uh, to uh, V by one integration, V, V, B between two different points, B minus A is equal to the integral from position A to position B of the load intensity. And then another integration, we go from V, D, X, integrate between two points, uh, and that gives us the difference uh, in the moments. So I will... Um, uh, stop here uh, in uh, uh, this segment in which we just laid the foundations for finding the uh, shear distribution on the beam, the shear force diagram, and also uh, finding a, a bending moment diagram. And uh, in the next segment, we will actually take examples where we find the shear force and the bending moment diagram.